Hello. I know the question. I got this question that says, where is the best place to relocate when I'm coming to England, to the United Kingdom? Hmm. This is a very, very big question. I know for, because that's what the, I believe this person, um, has, um, done their registration, done their, um, CBT passed, and then they're in the process of now choosing maybe they have an agency that is um trying to bring them and they're trying to find out which particular area to relocate well we're going to discuss that now but meanwhile this is jane and this is the overseas nursing band how are you you're all right yeah i know you're good it's good being on your screen again this week so let's get into this question says um where is the best place to relocate into england in united kingdom to be honest with you obviously we know that united kingdom is northern ireland scotland wales and england that makes up the united kingdom we know that right and um if you're coming to england for example a lot of people believe that the southeast of england is expensive and um they prefer to say in the north then talking of the United Kingdom, generally, a lot of people prefer to think, oh, oh, Northern Ireland is actually quite a, a cheap place to live. And Scotland as well. We don't pay council tax. We don't pay water rate or something like that. You know, a lot of bills that we pay down here in England is not the same for Northern Ireland and for um, people living in Northern Ireland and all that. So that this question... I would say it depends on a lot of things. Uh, yeah, if you ask me, I'll say it depends on a lot of things. Your circumstances, because our circumstances varies. I mean, if you're coming as a single person, it's a different ball game altogether. But you're coming as um, with children or with a child, and depending your child school age, which is very important as well. So where you're going to live, you'll be thinking of safety, you'll be thinking of education, you'll be thinking of facilities and amenities that are close by, that are available for your child or children to use if you fall into that category. And, and you know, it's very important because you know how the school, I don't know, probably you don't know, maybe I will do a video of how the school system works here. And then, you know, because where you live determines which school you're going to so you have to live a certain miles within a particular school for you to be in that catchment area and you want to live close to a school that is good i'm not saying there are bad schools but you know so we prefer some mother than others for example if you want your child to go to a catholic school or something like that so you want to live within um certain miles within that school so that's what you have to think about as well and then we have if they're into secondary school you know high school you also want to think about um if they you want them to go to a comprehensive school or um a grammar school if you want to know more about how the school system just comment send me a message and i'll do a video about it so you want to find out you want to know how the school system works here as well and then want to get go to a place that has maybe grammar school so if your child has secondary school age so they can get into a grammar school you want to go to yeah even if a private schools because some private schools offer bursaries and you have to live within certain areas to get something like that you know yeah so that's just what you have to think about i know um i know someone recently a few months ago i met someone who moved all the way from scotland back to back to england not just England, to the southeast of England. Obviously, southeast of England is expensive. It's close to London. So everything there, accommodation, is expensive. But the advantage is that you have jobs. There are jobs, there are opportunities more than the north, okay? So, and then if you're coming with your spouse, man or woman, and what their jobs are, and where they can get a job quickly, if they're not nurses, they're doing something different. And you know that, oh, if they move um 
says England or southeast of England, um, they're going to have more opportunities for jobs and all that. Those are the things that you're going to have to put into consideration when you're moving. I would say generally that there's no wrong or right answers. There's no right or right, wrong place to live. It's just for you to find out what actually is um, your situation or your condition, what suits you. So you have to think about, like I've said, if you're coming with your spouse that's maybe probably not a nurse and you want to want where they can easily get a job, which is abounds more in the southeast, south and southeast, and then um, school education as well. You want them to live close to a good school and all that. So basically, that is it. If you want to know more about the school system, how it works, drop me a message, comment, and then I'll do a video on that. And um, yeah, I think that's all I can think of for now, really. It's, everybody is different. People will thrive in the Southeast. People will thrive in Scotland. People will thrive um, in northern island uh, the choice is all yours for you to choose what um you actually want and what is maybe i'm not being very helpful but it all varies for individual needs so it depends on what your needs are maybe i think i maybe if you have specific needs if you send me an email i can discuss more with you because i cannot just give a, i'll just give uh, I, I i'm giving you an overview of what it is but if you want a personalized or your special needs or special situation individually then we can we can chat on email or comment or something like that yeah but generally everywhere is good and serves depending on what your needs are i hope i've not blocked too much anyway thank you for joining me today have a good time and um for those of you that are, are already here in the UK and um, you're doing your OSCE, I'm wishing you all the best. And for those of you have that have passed, in anyway, one of our groups, a lot of people have passed and passed and passed and they're registered nurses. A big congratulations if you're not in our group and um, I know you, you're listening to me. Congratulations again. And then uh, for those that are about, I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you. Nice.